Now let's go through the power source setup. The main power source has four wires for any voltage ranging from 208 to 575 single or three phase. Have a qualified electrician connect the main power and see the owner's manual for important safety information. The cooler power source plugs into the receptacle at the right top corner of the machine. Next, add low conductivity Miller TIG coolant. The reservoir holds 3.5 gallons. The coolant level should be checked weekly. Top it off with distilled or deionized water if necessary. You'll need to replace the coolant every 12 months. Place the argon gas tank on the back of the cart and securely attach the safety chain. Unscrew and remove the cap. Before you attach the gas valve, make sure the valve is pointed away from your body and open the valve and close it quickly to blow any obstructions out of the valve body. Attach the gas regulator and tighten with a wrench. Attach the gas hose to the gas regulator and tighten with a wrench. Remove the plug from the gas valve on the rear of the power source. Attach the gas hose and tighten with a wrench. Remove the registration tag. Be sure to either fill it in and mail it or register your new machine online. To attach the optional Weldcraft CS310 water-cooled torch, connect the gas hose of the torch into the front of the machine and tighten with a wrench. Plug the torch into the machine and twist to tighten. Now attach the red return and the blue coolant out hose, being sure to finish tightening with the wrench. To attach the work clamp, simply insert the cable and twist. The remote foot control is attached by inserting the connector and tightening by hand. 